So basically this is the first sample that I made. This is the size that I was planning to make extra small slash small. Basically this one has the rounded corners, which I think I'm changing back to the square corners just because I prefer the look of that. And it also already has the lining in it. But this was really small. Like I'm like an extra small to a small. And I feel like this was definitely an extra small. So what I've done is basically the size medium that I graded is now a size small. And then the extra small is no longer being made. I prefer something a little bit bigger. Just because I'm afraid that then some people may not fit if it's all very form fitting. And then this is the one that I just made without the liner, just because it's quick and easy. This is the first time I'm trying it on, so we'll look at the things together. I mean, here it's all a little bit big, but keep in mind that if you put the lining in it, this will remove one centimeter, because I need seam allowance. So if I fold that in, then I would say that's pretty perfect. I think that's pretty nice. I also like the length. It hits right at the waist, but if I take one centimeter off, it is a little bit short. So maybe I will lengthen it by like two centimeters, just to have a little bit of extra length. I know not everybody likes things super cropped. Then here also, and I'm also happy with the armhole adjustment that I did. I made this a little bit lower. So yeah, I think that's pretty good. And here's the back. And the neckline also. I personally quite like the high neck. And I think this one is pretty nice. Okay, so I just finished making the other size. This is supposedly a size medium, but I'm actually thinking it could go as a medium large. So the shared sizes that I was talking about before. So that will mean that the other one is an extra small small. So I have to think if I want to go with that. Um, but I do think it could work. I'm obviously not a size medium or large in that matter so it's hard for me to see as you can see it's much bigger on me like i have like this extra space so i think that's enough for a medium or large to wear this the neckline seems good in the back obviously they're like whole because i'm using scrap fabrics and i even feel like if you are a smaller size you can still wear this size if you want it more oversized also the length what do we think about that? If you take one centimeter away. So basically I lengthened this one by two centimeters because the other one I felt like was two centimeters too short and then added one centimeter for the bigger size. So I think that's good. <laughs> okay, so now I've done the adjustments to the vest that I needed to do and now I just wanted to show you where I am so far with like all the other stuff. So it has been a little bit of a work in progress, you know, like buying stuff, figuring it out. I'm showing you the thank you cards that I had printed, which I don't know if you can see, but it kind of has lines on it, which I wasn't too happy about. And then the back. And as you can see here at the brown part, you can see blue lines at the bottom, which is not how I intended it to be. So I wasn't too happy with this, so I had them redone. And they turn out much better. So now this is the front. And it doesn't have as much lines. I mean, they're still kind of there. But it's kind of like, when you get an order, it's like just like, oh, nice, a thank you card. But you're not going to inspect it like I'm doing right now. It's, it's, that's what I hope. And then the back. I also changed the color and the layout. I think this looks more professional. And this looks too colored compared to the one on top. So that's side by side. And also... The front colors also look different because apparently they use 
CMYK colors and I used RGB colors and I didn't even know that was a thing so I had to photoshop it to change the color settings and you can see that it clearly makes quite a difference so that's pretty interesting and a good thing to know then I also have some stickers with my logo on it they are really cute but they turn out smaller than I expected but it's fine because I'm just gonna use them on the polyester mailers that I have which is very unsustainable but I suddenly don't have the funds to invest in paper boxes and paper bags so I'm starting out with this and then hopefully I can expand and be more environmentally friendly later and then here are the first tags that I had printed I now changed the design because I thought this was too clear oh. also I don't like the white on top so I also had that changed and then if you can see that it literally cut off the bottom so I've ordered 50 of these tags and now I'm not going to use any of them. The new ones should arrive today and I hope they turn out because I bought 500 of them. <laughs> and then for all the tags I'm going to like uh, punch a hole at the top and then attach some of this thread. And I think in combination with the tag that's a really nice look. Polyester mailers that I was talking about. They are just plain brown nothing really too special about them and I have 50 of them so I hope I can use them up and get 50 orders one day so that like I said I can buy like paper bags and stuff now I'm going to show you all of the stock that I made so far which is not a lot so I definitely need to work on that it is a made to order kind of situation but it's still it's nice that people get their stuff sooner because I feel like in this day and age people don't really like to wait two weeks for you to make it first of all these pouches these are made from leftover materials so the trim is leftover the wool is leftover everything uh, and then this is how they look on the inside like an item that I'm only gonna have one of just because it's made from scrap materials then I already made a bunch of key change so I have these ones a brown one that's better and then this is my favorite actually so these are some other designs that I am doing I still need to sew those up and then lastly I have the bags which is what it all started with even though my expertise is sewing clothing and not bags so I hope to start with the bags and then expand into clothing if people buy anything in the first place so this is the first one it's a teddy one a bronze zipper with a white pull which is something that you can like add on so it doesn't always come with that just like the straps they are all sold separately from the bag itself so this is a zebra one with bronze details then I have this pink wool one and this one has a brown puller like that and you can also see the lining let me show you pretty cute right and this one has a zebra strap and then the last one is my favorite it's this polka dot wool with another one of these pullers and then the strap is just the cutest so that's where i'm at so far basically you need to make more bags more straps more key change wait for the lining fabric to arrive for my vest make a couple of those Puncture the holes in my cards, attach the ribbons, so much to do still. So I hope you enjoyed this video and that you will follow along with my journey. Um, and that was it.